Vlad left the sinking ship without the Rubiot, nor did he have the real Lambeth diamonds. The Black Hand never got its funds, money intended to finance a wave of terrorism across the Balkans. One of the intended targets, the heir to the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His murder might have started a war. We were lucky. We got peace instead. As for the painting, it left with me. <laughs> the plans proved useless. In the month following the sinking, the war office scrapped the proposed deployments in a cost-cutting measure. But the canvas? <laughs> As the only artifact saved from the Titanic, the painting became famous. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named Adolf Hitler who makes a lucrative career to this day, peddling overpriced alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I left the ship with Willie's notebook. Eventually, it found its way to the Russians. The Tsar's secret police were grateful, and the names Stalin, Lenin, and Trotsky vanished from history. The communist revolution aborted. I didn't really realize it then, but that night 30 years ago was one of history's most crucial. Though the Titanic carried 1,500 to the death, a peaceful world would be their epitaph. Our mission was a success. With no wars or bloody revolutions to derail us, prosperity and progress has flowed into every corner of the globe bringing humanity a security known only to the privileged few before the Titanic sailed. Today, on April 14th, 1942, I am leaving the service to retire in a world at peace. One can only imagine how different it could have been, would have been, if we had failed.